Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So slightly different start to today's what did I get. So this was a gift that I purchased off of Amazon. I had an Amazon voucher from my nan and I've been after one of these for a while. I actually had one when I was living abroad but I didn't bring it back with me and it was the, these are wax um, envelope wax seals and the one I had was the candle one. So you'd just light the candle and then drip the wax directly from that to create your wax seal. This one here is getting very hot. I'm just gonna pop some other ones in. So basically I've got one here just almost set. So I think we're good to go. Just gonna take that off. So that was just a, a, an example for you. Can you see that beautiful flower? design there and that's using just the pink so what I wanted is I wanted a selection of colors and you can make these up on a silicon mat put them in like a little you know container and then you've got them ready to stick on your envelopes you know when you want to you just put a bit of hot glue on the back and they will sit perfectly now you would just rinse this out not rinse it out you'd wipe it with a cloth and just keep wiping it while it's but that's getting boiling hot so this was separate and this came in this little pretty boxes they make lovely gifts as well this was separate and then this was separate so I will share the links to these ones but go and have a look at other ones because you might not you might not you might not want all these colors you might not want all of these different designs because you can choose different ones so there's one that says with love you've got here this one's has got a lovely um B on there um what other ones have we got that one's got like some sprigs um, this one has got lots of leaves and then the tree and I've just used the flower on that one. So what I'm going to do, but it's also nice you can mix colours. So I've got these gorgeous, it's like pearl, pearlized pink and a couple, a couple of them in. Three to four I think is plenty to give you that size wax seal. I mean it's, it's gone a bit thin there. If you don't like that then add you know some more but you don't need to go crazy, I don't think anyway. I'm gonna add, let's try silver and another silver. Let's try two silver pearly ones and two pink pearly ones. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. It doesn't take too long, a couple of minutes and that will completely um, melt. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna unscrew this one. With this one here, you did also get one of these. You get, oh no, did I get that? No, that came with this, I think. <laughs> You'll see on the links. I think that came with that. And then in here was two of the tea lights. This one. But then I want to say that was in there as well. I can't remember, guys. You have to double check. But um, So that's that one. So I want to try this time. I'm going to use... Let's do the B because I think that's quite a nice one. So they're really easy to you know, change and you can just buy all of you know more of these if you want to. I'm going to get one personalised. So I'm going to get my name put on it, like made by Sam, or um, I wouldn't mind getting one with happy birthday as well, because I think that's going to be perfect just to finish off the envelopes with a nice little wax seal. But like I said, you can sit down one afternoon, like I'm doing here, you can see it's all melting nicely now, and um, just drip different ones onto your silicone mat, do all your different, you know, designs on them, put them in, like I said, a little container, and then you don't have to get this out each time, and then maybe when you're, you know, finishing them off, um, you can start to do some more. It's great also if you're making your own wedding invitations or party invitations, especially if you've got personalised ones. You know, you might have the initial of you and your, you know, your husband to be on the wax seal, um, and then you can just, you know, make them all up. I think it's it's lovely. It is a really nice thing. Like I said, I have done this before, and um, when I was thinking about what I can buy with the voucher, this was on my list. I've got a long list of things that I would like to get, but they're not like necessities it's not stuff I need to have right that minute so I always revert to my list and this was on there and I thought oh, I'll get this and I know my nan will really like it so when I do see her next I can show her what I decided to buy so can you see now I don't know how well but that's you've got a really nice mix now what I don't do is mix that up now I leave that and just let it naturally you know blend how it will you know it want to but I think I think we're good to go you need to obviously make sure I'm just worried there might be a little bit of silver still that's a bit clumpy there but you can see here if I close this one up there are tons like I said if you're only using three four max per seal it's a nice deep tub you've got absolutely tons in there I think this was about 16 pound but it's going to last it really is and there are other ones you can get slightly smaller ones there are ones you can get even more um so and I'm sure there's many of you watching that already do this so that looks better it looks like it's melted now so I'm going to take that off and it's got a little point here so you know where to tip. I'm going to just move that back a little bit and I'm going to just tip that one on and just kind of move that around a little bit. Oh, it's got such a nice marbling effect. Pop that down 
and then I've got that all ready. It doesn't matter which way up because you can move it around. Just drop it down. And I can see, you can already see all that beautiful pearlized color. So now with that one, again, wipe it, you know, wipe it out. But I'm going to add, um, let's try some black. Let's do black with silver. There's a little bit of pink in there, but that I assume mix up. Let's do the black one. I'll do one more on camera. You get the idea now of what to do. I'll just do a little one there with the silver and maybe I'll do some, I'll do the leaves with that one because it's a bit more darker in colour. Let's see how that one comes out. So you'll know, you know, you don't want to touch it. You'll be able to, you know, if you're not in a rush, just leave it and let it do its thing. These are very weighted. So that's, you know, it's the weight that will obviously um, create that beautiful design again just bring that one in there and it's it's stuck you know this is what they used you know hundreds of years ago so you know it's, it's it works but I just think it's beautiful it's such a lovely way and it's certainly something I'm going to do now I don't you know I'm not a fan of licking the back of envelopes anyway and when I make my own I always put double-sided tape on them I'm not going to bother now it's just so much nicer to do this again especially when you make them all up if it got, gets too hot which I think I've done you'll get bubbling but again it's not the end of the world I don't know you can see some very very slight bubbling there that's just because it was too hot um, I think I've got it there as well but I'm not bothered about stuff like that the fact that I you know and I don't think anybody's gonna look at it unless they're wax seal you know um, specialists I don't think anybody's gonna take a damn bit of notice of that but that's what that is so but this is this is very hot now so I think as well because this is now like the third one I've done it's melting much much quicker because the whole um, you know spoon I guess or whatever you want to call that is is heated up really really quickly so that's actually ready to go so let's do this one again look at the lovely oh I love that one I love the way you've got all that you see all the different color there so I'm going to take that one off now because that one looks like it's oh yeah perfect take this one off you can leave them as well so if you just want a plain disc you don't have to because I don't know how well this pattern's going to actually show up with that one we push that down a little bit more just so I do get that but now just peel that off it's a little bit warm a little bit soft but once that dries completely hard you can just put them in a little container like I said and then just put a bit of hot glue on the back and seal your envelope and um, look could you see all that lovely it's almost like um, a, ge a geoid no what am I thinking geode yeah geode geode <laughs> I'm sure it is. You know, those um, very old rock formations, isn't it? The patterns, like the crystals and everything. Geode. I'm sure it's geode. Please comment. You're probably laughing now. But anyway, I love it. I think they're great. So I'm going to take this off. Can you see it smoking? <laughs> so you can also smell it as well, but I think we're done there. So I'm just going to... This is all wooden. Just uh, That will be very hot, the plate in the middle. But this is... You can pick this one up. It's warm to touch, but it's not going to burn you at all. So I'll let that cool, and that one I will just wipe with some tissue. Keep wiping it until it's, um, you know, that's clean. But yeah, do take care, but you do have wooden handles. One thing I will say, though, this one came with this. Yeah, this one came with this, and it fits perfectly. This one doesn't, and it just doesn't, it tips back, so I will have to hold that over there. But to be honest, I mean, I'll just wipe out each one, and I can, you know, I don't mind holding that, but that one doesn't sit on that one. I've tried it on all, maybe once it's got a bit of wax in there, it might weight it a bit, but yeah, the last thing you want is that kind of flipping off. So, um, but you can see there, you can just leave that one perfectly. So we'll just pop all that over there. Let's pop all these back and then I can take off that one and just take that one off. That is beautiful. The way that's taken with the two colors mixed there, I absolutely love it. If I bring that up a bit closer, oh, let it find, there we go. Look at that lovely silver and the black mixed together. You can just see the sprigs, oh, there we go. You can see how lovely they, they show up. It's brilliant. I really do love this. You know, it's, um, like I said, it's hundreds of years old, this, so <laughs> it's not new at all, but I just, I don't think it's used enough. And um, I'm really pleased that I've got this. So I've got those two there. But you see what I mean? Just, but what a fun thing to do for a few hours. I'm going to do it. Um, probably tomorrow, actually. I'm going to, um, you know, do quite a few, like, do a bulk of pink. I'll probably end up probably using all of this up. But then least then I've kind of done it. But I'm going to do lots of spring colours. Do some nice yellow ones with the flowers. That'll look really nice for my... Um, 
all of the you know more spring birthday cards and things like that I'm going to do quite a few with with love and I am going to order a happy birthday one and like I said do my um my personalized one but I think they make lovely gifts as well so you can see that's a nice gift on its own but there is another set with this one which has got different designs um, which is really nice as well. I was kind of in two minds of which one to get, but um, I like that one because it had the with love. And um, these, inexpensive, you can pick these up from your pound shops, dollar stores, things like that. So, but yeah, I hope you agree, you know, with how lovely it is, because I do. I think it's a really, really nice thing to have. And it's just a great way to finish off. You know, you put all that effort into making the cards. I think just, you know, finishing the envelope off like that, I think it's lovely. So thank you to my Nan for my voucher. Oh, I've got a rogue... <laughs> do you know I was looking for that where has that come from because this isn't magnetic oh I don't know anyway right let's show you a couple of other bits that I've got okay so my Valentine series is finished and I'm now starting to think of Mother's Day and Easter tutorials and I'll be doing the series for each of those so I you know I do like to start to collect things early because that's when the best stuff's in and uh, this was from the works so I went in there and I picked up it's all pretty inexpensive and the pound shop do very similar last year I got these and they were slightly bigger and they had a felt finish to them and they were from the pound shop these ones I've picked up and they've got glitter on them I thought they were really nice because I want to do a few decorative Easter pieces this year I want to do a shadow box like the Christmas one I done so many of you love that you've made some really beautiful ones with the lights and everything in it and I want to do something similar with an Easter theme so I've picked up a few bits here and I've got a few vintage pieces that I'm going to be adding to it I can't wait it's going to look so pretty but I picked up this you can also this is the shredded paper they do the pink the yellow the green and the blue all separate as well but I thought I'm just going to get a mixture because I've got some really lovely paper craft tutorials where I want to use that so got those. These eggs I thought looked brilliant. They look just like the yellow ones that come in the chocolate um, mini eggs. And uh, these are yellow. They also had pink and blue, I think. I may well get the pink ones later on, but you get 40. I just thought they're really nice for adding onto, you know, maybe onto the top of a gift box. You do a nice little arrangement. You could put them onto gift tags and they're nice for decorative you know you're doing a centerpiece or obviously a lot of this is for schools when they do like easter bonnet competitions i remember doing them in school so got them and then i got these as well i thought they're really nice they are decorations but i'm again i'm going to probably end up sticking these into the shadow box like i did with the christmas baubles the ornaments um it's quite again it's a nice little gift as well you get the organza little drawstring bag there and um let me just get in you can see just little glittery ones they're only polystyrene or styrofoam and um yeah i think they're quite nice so you get you get there th uh, six again that was a, for a pound i mean you can't go wrong and they they're um i just think yeah i just think they're lovely and if you have easter trees so i know a lot of people do i've got a white twig kind of thing these um you know a nice hanging from there then not really Eastery because this you can see the Easter stuff because they've got the Easter wishes so that's all from that but these I saw in there I've got lots of paper flowers but I don't have many tiny ones I've actually used a few on a lot of the decoration I used for my friends when I done the Valentine's boxes you would have seen some of the little flowers on there but I picked these up I thought they were a nice selection of colours and they were £1.50 you get 36 I tend to cut the wire off but you can twist it that looks nice as well um, but again I thought that was always handy to have these I hadn't seen before really like them and they are you get 12 and they're your daisies and um, they're paper ones let me just put them out so you can see a bit better so they're on foam or oh, well, mind you though the foam's stuck and then the tops come off do you know what things like this though i end up getting my hot glue and i'll stick it directly but you can see that they're, they're, they're quite nice quality you know there there's a few there where the glitter's a little bit off or the, the circle's a bit off center but i think they're going to look really nice for my spring kind of projects and they'll be nice on cards so i picked up those ones and then i picked up these i just love them they've got that is it druzy drizzy look to them and uh, you just put some hot glue on the back of them and then you just attach them but they're just so sparkly they're all faceted beautiful and i just love the selection of color you see there where it catches the light they're so sparkly really nice so you get 60 for two pound i didn't think that was too bad and um just make sure oh yeah i thought they were mixed but you've got the silver, pink, and then that purple colour. I just thought they were really pretty. So I picked them up. And the works is available online. And they do really good deals as well. They always have some kind of discount code going. And I've also got one of their cards that they have. And your return on that's quite good. When they do the... the it's like every... 
is it every quarter I think and then you can use that to you know spend it in store it's a bit like the advantage card the boots advantage card so um yeah I always end up doing quite well with that as well so yes yeah, so that's what I picked up from the works and I'm just showing these ones just because it just for ideas really but I picked up these ones here from Primark actually and it was one of those things I was in the queue I had some clothes and then I saw these and um, I haven't tried one I'm going to try one now but they make lovely um, little Valentine's gifts that's what these ones are but I just I thought what a nice idea you know it's your chocolate coins that you usually get at Christmas time but this time they've made them like Valentine's um, themed but you know I've done lots of Valentine's tutorials over the years and there's lots of nice little gift boxes I've done and you could just put it in a little cello I'm going to open that one actually because it's coming away little cello bags and stuff but as I said before sometimes this chocolate can be quite nasty so I thought I'm going to try it for you now and see what it's like because the fair trade chocolate's delicious really nice and those ones are from the co-op the gold coins I get there but these ones here oh, have a taste sorry talking and eating at the same time is very bad these are BIP Candy and Toys Limited, made in the UK. I'm just tasting. No, it's really nice. It's nice chocolate. Those of you, a lot of you commented when I said about cheap chocolate. There's a certain, it's just a certain taste to cheap chocolate and this doesn't have it. It's actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, hand on heart, that's really nice chocolate. I won't give it to someone if it's not. So I'm actually going to be putting these, some of these in the Book of Love because I've got all those little boxes and I'm going to fill some of them with these and you get I will always love you I want to break out into song love is all you need and another, another one I want to break out into song <laughs> love and that one's just got a heart and that one says true love I think that's it I think there's what we got there that's it so you get six designs oh no five designs there we go yeah get a lot of the loved ones but anyway I just thought they were really nice and they were a pound and I got them when I was at the till so as you you know they kind of everyone dumps all their stuff when they're queuing up because they realize how much they've brought and they put stuff back but there was these were all literally just at the end by the, like the dvds so those are going to be put in the book of love and possibly some other things and then this from the pound shop and it wasn't until it was always it was so busy in there but I um I wished I got some other ones because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all the packaging off of this and it's a bath crumble bar and it's real petals and it smells absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you're not a fan of rose, then there is a vanilla one and there was another one as well. But I'm going to take this plastic off and I'm going to wrap it in wax paper with some, you know, some garden twine, something like that. And I just think it makes a really nice gift. And it's just a crumble so you can break, break pieces off and put it in the bath. But it's a really nice way to make something very inexpensive. I mean, it's nice on its own. It, it is, you can give it like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think if you take that plastic off and you put that in some wax paper and wrap it up and then maybe put it in a nice gift bag, it looks like you've brought it from a farmer's market or you've gone to, you know, some, someone is made is homemade. You know, it just it totally transforms stuff. And I do do that a lot with things. Maybe I should do some tutorials of showing you how to make inexpensive items look a lot more expensive. Um, and I just saw them, I saw it, and then I thought afterwards, when I looked at it, I thought I should have got some more. They're all real rose petals on the top there. So sometimes the smells can be a bit odd, but this one's actually quite nice. So anyway, I've rabbled on enough. I think most of you can understand what I'm trying to get across, but um, have a good old hunt in these shops sometimes because you can find some really nice things. And if you look past the packaging, if you're able to kind of take it out, and because I like to make packaging, um, I do that with a lot of things. So yeah, so that was another little bargain. And then I got this issue here because um, again, anybody new who doesn't know, but I won the card maker of the year 2019 and the prize for that was um, a wonderful variety of gifts, but you also got to join the design team. So I get sent this as a complimentary issue every month and it's a really lovely stamp set actually here. So this is the Alice in Wonderland. So you get this one here, so any Alice fans out there. Um, I think it's lovely and it's got the little drink me there and then you've got the rabbit and the clocks curiouser and curiouser and it says have a wonderful birthday get the magazine and then you get all these at the back here so this is your luxury foiled gift so along with the stamps there and then you have all these look at these and I like it because it's got silver foiling I'm more of a silver foiling to gold foiling kind of person but you've got all these pop outs here you are cordial you are cordially invited uh, have a very happy unbirthday. It's always yeah, it's always time for tea. Curiouser and curiouser. So you get two of those, 
and then you get this one here, I love this one. You're entirely bonkers, but all the best people are. Isn't that good? This one, you're mad, but I love you. Oh, I know so many people I can give that to. <laughs> We're all mad here. Sorry it's late. I think it's really fun, and you get two of those ones. And then you get these papers, and they're really nice. So, got this one here with the keys and the clocks, and it just says Alice. Again, perfect if you know someone called Alice. It's like personalised paper, because you could wrap a gift in that. This one here, you've got the Queen and Alice. And then this one here with the cupcake and the pie and the teapot, toadstools, hearts, got all sorts of that. And it's really nice, nice quality, a thicker paper there. This one here, like that one. Get two of each. And then, yeah, this one here, which you've got, again, your teacups stacked up there, like your potion. I just think it's really nice. I think that's a really nice free gift. You know, some magazine freebies aren't always the best, and obviously they can't cater to everyone every month, but I do think that's a really nice one um, to get. And then, again, as always, you get heaps of inspiration in this one. And this one is my interview. So at the back here, last words with Sam Clayton, and it's just a little bit about me. So I will not go into that. That will be a nice thing if someone is interested when they subscribe to this. So I don't like to ever give too much away of the magazines because I know lots of you get these through your door. But that is issue 205. That's the February of card making and paper craft. Then I've also received the next box of the So Beautifully Organised. So Craft Stash have sent me this one, but I'm waiting on an email, email back from them as to if I can share it yet. So I'm gonna do a separate video anyway, but just to show you that this is something to come. So if anybody missed one of my other What Did I Get's, I showed you the first one, and this is what you can do with it. So I have started using it, so I'm not gonna um, go into it too much. I will show it once I've, I need to take some bits out of it, and, um, and then I can show you. But this is what you get with the first one, so you make up. There's other bits you get. You get some lovely wrapping paper, tissue paper, there's stickers, washi stickers and things, and that bits and pieces like that. But it's $14.99, that's including postage and that's monthly and it's more for your, if you're, you know, more of your planners, you like doing, you know, junk journals and you like to, you just like stationery, you like being organised, then it's going to be a really nice one I think for you. So it's, you know, it's like the Papercraft Society kits that we get, but it's obviously on a smaller level and this one is, you can see the other size of the box um, and how it comes. So this is it all in here. What I will say is, or dare I say, I don't think I can, I'm, I'm always going to give honest opinions, I think this is better than the first one. So as lovely as this is, what's in this one I think is really, really nice. So they're, no doubt, I don't know how they're doing this, whether they're doing unboxings, I haven't seen an unboxing, so, but again, I'll share any links below because I'm sure there will be something, but um, yeah, this one I, I got it through. I didn't realise I was getting it because they sent me the first one to just literally just have a look at. There was no obligation to do anything with it, um, but this one's come through and I thought, hmm, this is actually really nice. And I showed it to my mum and she wants to start getting it because she really liked that one. So uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So look out because there will be an actual, I'll do a separate um, unboxing video for that one. Okay, and I also picked up a couple of bits from the range. So I got, no, it's that one that's upside down. I want that one. So I picked up this stamp set here. Now I used the, this is the Do Crafts Paper Mania Sweet Treats collection. And I made a mini album and a load of little boxes and bits and pieces back in the summer last year. And I gave them all to my friends when we went away on our holiday. But I never had the stamp set and it was in the sale in the range. And I really like it. I mean, some of my favourite biscuits to have with a cup of tea or a bourbon biscuit or a custard cream and these are you know stamps and images that will last for decades because the biscuits are decades old and things that I've enjoyed when I was younger. You've also got pink wafers there, you've got Battenberg, you've got rich tea, oh no that's rich tea sorry, what's the one with nice on it? I can't remember, I think that's just a, a nice just biscuit. <laughs> you've got a cherry bakewell, and you've got just a little boiled sweet there as well. So I just thought it was really nice. It's just kind of a timeless stamp set and I don't have ones with these on. So um, I thought for 2 dollars I'll pick that one up. Then I picked up some more of my trusty holographic card. So this is the Dovecraft one that I love using and you get 10 sheets there. I think this was 2 dollars It's usually about what I pay for it. 
and then I picked up some more acetate. I've nearly gone through all my 12 by 12, but this was 4.99 in the range. That's that's the cheapest price I've ever seen it, and um, yeah, it's it's worth getting. I think it's the cheapest, or have I seen it for 3.99? Anyway, it's cheap, so um, I grabbed a pack of that. I will share all the links, and um, sometimes though with the range, it's they don't always have it online. It is literally what's in store. So every store is different as well, but you can also pick that up from Craft Stash. I think it's $5.99, so there's not too much of a difference in it. Then I needed some white 12 by 12 so I picked up this one here, which is 250 GSM, so it's a nice white cardstock. And by the time you add your mats and layers onto it, it will become stronger, and it's the Craft UK Limited, which is what I use for my A4 cardstock. So, uh, yeah, really nice. It's just a smooth white cardstock, So and I compared it to other whites, and it is a nice white colour, so... That's going to be handy. I'm going to lean them up there. And then I was going through all my paper packs and I need some new ones. So I know that I am expecting a, a very fun package coming soon. But I wanted to just kind of stock up. A lot of mine are very thin now. I've finished a lot of them. So I just wanted some nice new kind of colours to, you know, start using and to go into like the spring and the summer with. So these were all 2 99 each from the range. And it's the Craft Sensations brand, and this one is called Happy, and it's beautiful, really, really lovely. I know probably lots of you have already got these. These aren't particularly new, I don't think. I think they've been in there for a while. So you'll see there, I'll just quickly flick through to give you, I love these two together, I think they're really nice, just so you get to see. And I think it's two designs. Yeah, two of 24, there's 24 sheets, two of each design. Double-sided, 250 GSM. So again, a nice weight, you can make a gift bag, you know, your boxes with this. You've got some nice stripes there. That's nice. I like those together. And those as well. Polka dots. And then you get a few re repeats again. That's nice. I like them together. And then it goes back again. So one side and then you've got the same on the other. So like I said, that one's called Happy. And then this one and the next one I think are my favourites. So this is called Pastels, again by Craft Sensations. This one's 230 GSM, so this is a bit lighter than the other one. This one you get 30 sheets and it's two of each design and there's 15 designs. And uh, this again was 2 99 it's just such a bargain. These are single sided, that's double sided. This one you could colour in, I thought that was really nice, or just keep it with the black and white. So you get two there, so these are all together. Look at this one here, it's got this like really nice foiling, like polka dot going through it. And then that one's plain polka dot. So it's the same, but they've given you two different ones there. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? So it's just got that lovely, like teal, more, well, it's actually, yeah, it's tealy kind of turquoisey <laughs> colour there with the foiling in the leaves. And then again, then they've given you the same print but without the foiling. And then you've got foiling there with the polka dot with the white. Again, it's like a turquoise kind of colour. And then plain. And then look at that one. So one foiled and one plain. I really like it. Love that gingham. And then you've got the hearts. That one there. That's plain. So they're both plain. Look. Oh, it's just so yummy. Love it. And then two again. So you actually do, yeah, so you do get two of each because that's, a, is that repeated from, no it's not, they are slightly different. And then pattern, look at that one. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I pr quickly kind of went through them in the shop but now I'm looking at them again and that is absolutely stunning. The two ninety nine. I almost want two of that one though because that would make an absolutely amazing gift bag but what I probably do is have that as the back of the gift bag and then that on the front. That's just going to look beautiful. And then look at that one, all that watercolour, gorgeous. So there two with the, the matte finish there. Look at that one again, oh my gosh. And then black and white, look at that. <gasps> You've got to get this one, For 2 99 it's an absolute bargain and it's just stunning. Yeah, sorry for those of you that won't be able to get this. I always feel, I always feel bad, but I mean, I do, I think I'm, you know, when I share like stuff from Craft Stash, that's they ship worldwide, so that's always good. But places like the range, I wonder if he will one day. I'm mean, he's such a big kind of businessman now in the UK, and he formed, he started his business in Plymouth, where I'm from. So we've got three range stores in Plymouth, and they're all pretty good. Well, they are very good, especially the superstore. So maybe one day he might branch out. I don't know, and maybe he already has, and I really don't know. So anyway, this one here is watercolor feelings. So again, you get the foiling. This one's thirty sheets, two hundred and thirty gsm, and you get two of the um, fifteen designs. 
Um, anything else to tell you? Nope, still again craft sensation, so let's just flick through this one. This feels much thicker, although it says 230, it's quite hard to bend this pad. Look at that one there with that watercolour and then that foiled polka dot on the top. And then there it is just with the watercolour. That would make a really nice scrapbook background on its own. Look at that one. Ooh. And then again the same without the foiling. And then that one. Gorgeous. And then again that's another really nice background for a scrapbook layout. And then that one there. I mean that with that is just so nice. These are going to make some beautiful cards. Look at that with that beautiful script. And then again, loving these watercolour backgrounds. They're just going to be really nice for your stamped images. This was one of my favourites. This was the one that sold it to me. When I was flicking through, I saw that. I went, yep, I'm having it. <laughs> again, $2.99. You cannot go wrong. It's just such nice colours. This reminds me of a designer, actually. it come to me. Probably when I use it. And then that one there, you can see again, just trying to catch the light. But there's a foiling stripe through that. And then the plain watercolour. And then that one there, just a bit subtle that one. And then the plain, it's not plain, but you know, love that one. Really nice, like hundreds and thousands all over it. And then just the plain, another one. And then without, and then that one's really cool. And again, without, oh, look at that one. It's very similar. Let me just double check, because they are different. Yeah, see, look. So they're, they're kind of the same, but not. <laughs> I think it's in there are slightly um, larger flowers on that one. Love the polka dot. And that's going to be great for, you know, your sky or an underwater card. In fact, I've just had a little idea. And then that one again. Just little, like, centres of the flowers with the foiling on there. And then that one. And then that's got the stripes through and then the plain watercolour. So I think, you know, I've just now got, what, 60, 60, 70, 84 sheets of pattern paper for £9. You know, I think that's brilliant. And a lot of these will kind of work with each other. So for this one here, where I've got the yellow and the flowers, that would go really nice with that script yellow there. Lots of these kind of watercolour backgrounds would go really nice, you know, that one would work with that one. So you can really mix them together. There are tons and tons. The craft sensations range in in the range <laughs> is huge. There was just endless ones and they had a lot of the paper addicts ones in there. They have a lot of them in six by six size as well. So it's, yeah, it is really good and it's perfect for, you know, if you're on a budget and you just, you know, only like to spend, you know, a small amount of money each month. These are brilliant because they're going to see you through a long time. Um, you know, I've got some of the Craft Sensations ones which I've had, which I brought at the beginning of last year. And, um, you know, I still go to them now. They're kind of timeless colours and patterns, which is another thing that I like. So, you know, I've got some fashionable paper pads, which, you know, kind of, you know, they date quite quickly. It's, you know, whatever's kind of the latest craze. Um, but things like this, you know, your florals, your watercolours, they're, they're always going to, you know, be in fashion so yeah so that was what I got from the range okay so that's everything this week so it was mainly to show you the wax melts I think it's really lovely um, and they've really firmed up now so and they weigh nothing as well so it's a nice thing to maybe you've got some other crafty friends and if you make pocket letters I've got a pocket letter tutorial these kind of things are perfect to pop in your pocket letters because they're really thin and they weigh nothing. So you could put quite a few in there. I think that's a lovely gift to send to somebody. And, um, or just as, you know, in little, you know, little organza bag, you could put a few in there. Um, and even, you know, if you sell things, I know lots of you that follow, you have Etsy stores and things like that. These are quite nice little things. So if you can make them up, you know, quite quickly. And then, um, you know, I don't know. Again, I'm not good at pricings or anything like that, but it's definitely, I think, something very nice. And you could have some quite comical, if you custom your um, your stamps, you could have some quite funny ones. Dare I say rude ones, you know, the odd swear word. <laughs> I think there could be, um, that's my other side now, I'm not going to do that, because I know there's probably lots of people that don't like that idea. But anyway, there you have it. So I hope you've um, enjoyed this um, What Did I Get This Week? And uh, yeah, I think, I'm hoping next week's if what I've got's coming should be a good one. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, all the links, as always, will be shared below, and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. See you later. Bye.